Near the southeast entrance of Crucible in the Shivering Isles, a man stands hey, in a putrid puddle. He beckons to you and says, I got to ask you something. Hello. Something important. Shh. Just come over here. I have a proposition for you. Best not to talk about it here. Meet me at the sewer grate northeast of the Shale Goreth statue. Come after dark. Come alone. And with that shady proposition, if you so choose to take him up on his offer, he indeed is standing by the sewage grate after dark as promised. Put that torch away. Do you want people to see us talking? Doing as he asks, we put our torch away. Ah, I'm glad you came. So, are you interested in earning some loot? Now you can answer, mm, no. Oh, really? Look... I'm in desperate need of a champion. A hero. Are you brave and fearless? Well, I'm not really interested in helping you. So you're a coward. Just my luck. Never mind. I'll find someone else to do it. With that, the quest is updated, saying that we have turned him down. If we do accept his offer, he says... Great. There's a... a simple task. Yes, a simple task that you must perform. What's the task? This life, it's, well, it's too painful. Everywhere I look, I see death, dying and decay. When I dream, I see a world without sunshine. I'm constantly on the verge of retching up or falling asleep or screaming at someone who doesn't deserve it i'm just so fed up with it all to which we can respond oh look i'm sorry you're having a bad day a bad day a bad day try a miserable existence there's no point in talking about it action must be taken you must i need you to kill me whoa you need me to kill you? So, what's this to me? I need your help. I need you to send my soul away from this world. You must. You must kill me. Narrowing down the options, the last thing we can say is, why don't you just kill yourself? Have you seen those miserable souls on the hill of suicides? Do you think that kind of existence is any better than this? No. You must kill me. If I may diverge from the conversation for a second, what Hiris is actually referring to is called the Hill of Suicides, and basically it's a purgatory of sorts in the Shivering Isles. Now, Sheogorath, Daedric Prince of Madness, doesn't take too kindly for people taking what he would deem the easy way out. You've got one way into the Shivering Isles through the gate, and you're either going out insane or dead. So Hiris is quite correct in saying that killing himself will do him no better, as he will revive every single day, cannot interact with anyone, and is doomed to walk as a ghost in the hill of suicides. But why would he want to die at all? Or more so, how do you want to die? I don't necessarily want to see it coming. And I want to die here in the city so all these people finally believe me. I don't wish they were nicer. You probably want to do it without spectators, though, so you don't get in trouble. Best to make it look like an accident. But remember, I don't want to see it coming. Take me unaware. It should look accidental? How? Well, that's up to you, I suppose. I'm going to go about my daily life such as it is, as if nothing has changed. Make your move when you wish, but... Uh, please do it soon. And about this reward? Oh, that. When you kill me, take the key to my house. Nothing really worth taking, except what's locked up in the jewelry box. You can have that. Okay. I'm going to pretend everything is normal. Make your move as soon as you can, but let me get away first so I don't know it's coming. By the gods, there is a psychopath on the loose! Immediately, Hera starts to cower and talk with some of the more generic lines the gods say in What's oblivion. Going on? He Such really violence. doesn't want to see it coming. By the 
gods, there is a psychopath on the loose. Guards! Guards! Someone's being attacked! I mean, he's calling to the guards. So, if we do decide to attack him, out in the open, this happens. No! No! Drop your weapon! Hand over your stolen goods and face the Lord's justice. Pay your due reparations, or it's the dungeon for you. Well, I'm not going to jail. Then your punishment is death. And with this, the Dark Seducer will attack you, as Harris had actually warned us of. And he squeals. Clearly, he does not want to die this way. No, not like this. Though it will say Harris is dead, as he wanted, I can get a reward from his house. Now, the pain. We will actually not get a full reward, I believe, if we don't kill him without him being unawares. And also just hearing him in agony, I decided to trail him as he said he would live his life unawares waiting for this perfect moment. Now, there is a time between 12 a.m. and 4 a.m. which he will stand perched next to a guard atop a very precarious drop which has blood, skulls, and bones at the bottom. Clearly, this is a nasty fall zone. Sometimes I come up here to think. Everything looks so small from up here. Makes me feel better, you know? Like I'm not so small myself. But that feeling only lasts a little while, and I start thinking about how miserable everything is, and then all I want to do is step off the ledge. I can't just jump. Don't want to end up on the hill. But I hope that someday, maybe, a big gust of wind will come and push me off so I can end it all. Which you can say to him, well, good luck with all that. Yeah, right. To which he's disappointed and will continue staring over the ledge. Now, I don't want to upset the guard, but... I often wonder what it would be like to fall to the ground so far below. I bet it'd be like flying, then suddenly falling into a deep, blissful sleep. And with that, we can say today's your lucky day. What? With one nice, big ah! push down... Goes here. At last. Thank you. Thank you. Kiris Clutimus is dead, just as he wanted. I can now get my reward from his house. The key should be on his corpse. Someone really ought to put up a railing. That happens all the time. Well, clearly the guards aren't too worried about people falling off this ledge. We should head down to his body now and collect the key. It's funny, even in this Isle of Madness, he was so happy. To die. I mean, as we head towards the bones, the blood splatter, this is really a gruesome scene. Upon closer inspection, Hurus actually looks overjoyed to have met his grisly fate. And we grab the key from his body, and it says, I have Hurus Clutonus's house key. I should go claim a reward from his jewelry box. Heading inside Hurus' house, we see statues that look like a tortured soul, but also shears, a scythe, and tools looking like he may have self-mutilated or hurt somebody else. It's clear that something grisly had gone on. Also of note is the stool with the rope next to it. Now I thought, well, maybe I'm looking into it too closely, but then you see hanging chains and it's clear that whatever Hiros was up to, it was not a very happy person and he was leading a tortured existence. Heading into his boudoir, we see some rough leather shoes on the floor, a bed we can't sleep in, but also the liturgy of affliction. Basically, this book reads, Dearest reader, the tome that you hold in your hand is a chronicle of pain, of torment, and discovery. I could go on to say more, but basically you can tell that this is not a happy book for a happy man. So, heading over to the table and chairs in his room, it seems that he has been drinking quite heavily. He has a quill and parchment. It looks like he's been writing notes. Maybe they are suicide notes. It's uncertain. This is a very dark quest. Pewter knife, a skull, a cupboard with some purple finery, and of course his promised jewelry box. Inside, we see the ring of happiness. This is what he spoke of. It has the attributes of feather, 25 points on self, light, 5 feet on self, water walking on self, fortify personality, 4 points on self. This is a fantastic ring. And here is his will. Once we've claimed our reward, we can read his will, which reads as the following. 
I've wanted to die for quite some time. Things just aren't going right. Never have gone right. Really. No one seems to care either. Nor even notice I exist. Not that I'd have much to say even if someone had wanted to be my friend. I'd make a lousy friend anyway. I'm probably even boring the person reading this. I'm certainly boring myself. Not that anyone will ever find this note. Oh, but if they do... If they do, it means that I've been granted my greatest wish to be released from this mortal coil. This isn't a suicide note. No, that would mean I've taken my own life, and we all know what that means. Who wants that kind of existence? To be reborn on a hill every day. Reset as if nothing ever happened. That's even worse than the life I'm living. Life I've lived. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure I'm happy now. The dead me. The me writing this note isn't happy at all. Never have been happy, really. Anyway, the purpose of this note is to say to the man or woman who has killed me, thank you. All I really have is this queer little ring. A wizard gave it to me once. Said I reminded him of his dead son. I guess I resemble his dead son even more now. Anyway, he said it would make me happy. Lift the weight of the world off my shoulders or some such thing. Come to think of it, it's the only time anyone has ever given me anything. Personally, I think the thing is worthless, just like me. I tried it for a while, the happiness ring, but eventually I couldn't wear it anymore. It made me feel odd. Not myself. I didn't like feeling that way, so I locked it away. It's pretty enough, though. It might fetch a few gold coins at the merchant. Sorry not to leave much more behind, but my life never really amounted to much anyway. Did it. Yours very truly, Hiras. And with that, if we look at the Ring of Happiness, it becomes shockingly apparent how much that the ring, the irony, that a wizard took pity on him, gave him a Ring of Happiness, which gives him Feather, 25 points on self, Light, 5 points on self, to feel lighter, water walking, you know, how much better would you feel walking on water, fortify personality, 4 points on self, people like you, you're light, the weight is lifted off your shoulders, figuratively and also physically, you're walking on water, it's like walking on sunshine, and because of the fact, unfortunately, as he is in the Mad God's realm, he will never be rid of his unhappiness. He is doomed to live a life of paranoia and anxiety, as many of the folk in Crucible are. Just as a nice little further nod to the quest, you can head to the graveyard near New Sheoth, and Hiras has his own tombstone that reads, Hiras Cluddenness. He never felt like he fit in anywhere. He fits in a coffin quite nicely now. Just a little bit of the mad god's humor for his citizens.